Welcome Logo Love fans, I'm Kurt Esser, host of Inside the Lines with Coach Heather Dyke. Thanks for pushing play and let's get started. Coach, welcome to the show, your first show. Thanks, Happy Kurt. to have you here. Yeah, looking forward to it. Very good. Um, you're in your first year at the helm with the Lobos and you, uh, one of the first duties you had to do was pull, pull together your staff. Talk about how you uh, found your staff and how you put them together. Yeah, that, that's been an important process for us because obviously those are the people that you're, you're you know, in, battling with day to day and, and they're on your team and pushing things through. So it was important to make sure that we got the right people on board and they were bought into kind of my vision on where I wanted things to head. And in addition, that they could add something new and better to the staff. Um, so trying to make sure that things that I ne don't necessarily think are my strengths that are their strengths so that we're a, a well-rounded machine. Very good. I noticed after a match, you guys pulled together uh, and, and talk a lot. It seems like more than and maybe some other staffs that I've seen. And what are, you, what are you looking at? What are you talking about? You get an immediate feedback then? Yeah, after every game we, we rate as a staff um, that the players can receive three points. So we measure attitude and effort, which we think is a controllable trait for players. We measure impact on the game, which is something that as much as you want to be an impactful player, isn't always something that you can do. Mm -hmm. And then we measure technical ability. So how comfortable they are with the ball, are they improving things that we think are weaknesses, are they both footed, are they kind of relaxed? And it gives us a consistent picture, but it also gives the players a consistent picture. So it helps us to be more specific with our feedback. So we do that after every game and then kind of analyze the game and get a feel for it. Very good. I look to, forward to having them on in future shows along with uh, a lot of your seniors, we'd like to get them on the show as well. Absolutely. So, We've got an incredible group of players and staff, so it'll be fun for them to come contribute. Very good. Well, you went through the spring, uh, you know, with, with this, most of the uh, young ladies. Uh, obviously, freshmen, incoming freshmen, didn't get a chance to, to join you till uh, August. But uh, what did you see from the team at that point? And when you, uh, when you go through the spring, does that kind of affect how you set up your August and your preseason? And the, the thing that I think I've been most impressed about with this group of players is that they want to be good. They're, they're hardworking. Um, they, they take things very seriously. They're very thoughtful in what they do. It matters to them. So I, I think the minute that we came in, despite the fact that kind of some of our approach has been a little bit different for them, they've been really thoughtful and they want to be good at it. Um, so I think the spring was, for them, a feeling out process of me. For me, kind of a feeling out process of them. Uh, and, and I think we had a good spring overall. We felt comfortable going into the fall. Um, so it wasn't a big surprise. It wasn't a big mystery other than the incoming freshmen. Very good, very good. Long term, describe your style for fans, especially if they haven't had a chance to come out and see you guys play yet. Yeah, we, we want to keep the ball, um, but not to the point of, of detriment. <laughs> so we want to, we call it possession to penetrate. We have to pick when and, where we, when and where we attack. And part of that is making sure that our shape is right, that we're organized, that um, the runs that we're making are with purpose, not just blind. Um, so we want them to be thought, thoughtful athletes, smart athletes, not just hardworking athletes. Um, and then defensively, we want to be really organized, but we also want to be able to adjust. So we're a team that we do play teams, some of them that are a little bit better than us, and some of them that their style might be more impactful in the game than ours. So we want to be able to adjust and take away their strengths, but also add, you know, add to our strengths. So yeah. kind of a mix. Very good. You know, Recruiting may affect how that uh, takes place over the next couple of years. How have you found the recruiting game so far? It's been a little different than, than what you're used to. Yeah, the, the recruiting part for me, um, I enjoy because it's, it's you get to go out now and say these are the qualities that we want in these players. These are the things we feel like we're missing as a team and actually try to build your team and make your team better based on those incoming players. And then the other, the other fun part about recruiting is that UNM's facilities and, and the staff and what we have is such a joy for me to show. I like showing off Albuquerque. I like showing off New Mexico. So it's fun for me to get people in there and to see how pleasantly surprised they are with what we can offer. What do you look for when you're out evaluating uh, and, you know, and recruiting young, young ladies? The biggest thing for us, right, I mean, we didn't recruit this incoming group of freshmen. And so we had to get them really here in the fall and kind of see see who they were and we've been really pleasantly surprised. They're great players and a great group of, of young women. Um, but now for us it becomes a lot more specific. So it, it's previous to kind of assessing these freshmen, we were kind of just looking for good athletes and mm -hmm. good soccer players, but now we can really say, hey, we really need this position and these are the things that we feel like would add to our current playing group and make us better. And then in addition, replace some of the incredible players that we're losing this fall, I mean, at the end of the fall. Right. So. Right. 
you're, you're sitting at two and three right now, but you still may really not know exactly where you are uh, as a team just yet. What's, what's your thought process so far? I don't think we know who we are as a team yet. I mean, I think we were pretty impressive against Florida State as far as our, our discipline and our work ethic. And then I thought we kind of let one slip away against Tech, that I think if we were a little bit more seasoned, we might have been able to, to put away. And then Colorado was tough for us. It wasn't, it wasn't really the reaction that, mm -hmm. that we were looking for from the players. So it was kind of a gut test for them. But they've responded, and, and I think we're moving in the right direction right now. So we're deep. We have a lot of players, and it's fun to see them when, when the going gets tough. And we want to go into conference play being good. And you, uh, I'm, I heard your post-game uh, comments after the Idaho State game. You were, you were excited about the way they reacted to the Colorado match. Yeah, I just, I didn't think we competed hard enough in Colorado, and the players didn't. I'm not saying anything that they wouldn't agree with. We just, we were reactionary, and we kind of, I just don't think we ever gave them our true self as a team. So, we talked about that a lot. Like, we can't add all this information if we're not going to compete. We have mm -hmm. to keep defining ourselves that way and that was important to the players and to our seniors and to our leadership council too it's an important piece of it so to see them come out and fight in that game was important and put put a couple goals away and then it gave us a lot of time to see some different players who did really well mm -hmm. very good you're off now to big 10 country minnesota and michigan state uh, what are your expectations and and uh, uh, what's the you know the big 10 scene like Currently, the Big Ten is the number one ranked conference in women's soccer, really? um, which is shocking considering that you know the ACC and the Pac-12 are traditionally so highly ranked. But they're they're very strong, they're hardworking, and um, both of these teams are going to be really good tests for us again. I mean, it's but I, I like that. I mean, I think we're going to go into conference play, having seen a bunch of different styles of play, some really highly ranked teams, and I think it just seasons us. So it's a lot of travel and, and some really good teams and. Um, I think we're, we're hoping to come away with a couple victories, but we're going to have to work. It's not going to be easy. First five matches you've really substituted liberally. Will you continue to do that, to do that or will you start to shrink the bench uh, as you head into conference? Yeah, play? I mean, one, one of the things that when you, when you speak with, you know, other college coaches that are a lot more seasoned than I am, that they feel like one of the biggest things is game, man game time management, legs management, and that if, if you go into the beginning of a season two, too gung-ho, you're really going to run those players into the ground when you need them most. And so it, it's that. And then for us, it's also we have a lot of good players. So it, we want to give them a chance to prove themselves. We want to see what it's like when the heat is on and how they react and, and give them that chance a couple times so that we really know who we are a little bit more clearly going into conference play. Very good. Well, thank you very much for your time. Good luck this weekend. Safe travels. And let's go get a couple of Ws. Sounds good. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you, Lobo fans.